In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to do a clean install of DaVinci Resolve. This is perfect for those of us upgrading to the newest, latest version of Resolve, like the major updates, or if you just need to troubleshoot and fix some bugs. It actually fixed a multicam playback issue that I was having this week. I'm going to take you step by step on how to back up your projects, LUTs, keyboard shortcuts, fusion templates, and Fairlight presets, and I'll also point out the specific folders that you're going to want to trash and are not removed with the uninstaller. Also, that you can get back to cutting your masterpiece in no time. Start by backing up your keyboard shortcuts by going up to the DaVinci Resolve menu, Keyboard Customization, and click the three-dot menu to choose your export preset for your custom keyboard layout. Let's save all these different backups in the same folder so it's going to be easy to reload after doing a clean install. So I'll create a new folder on the desktop, and I'll call it Resolve Backup Files. Hit Create, and then Save. This is a special text file that can be re-imported with the same three-dot menu using the import preset command. Next, I like to back up all the LUTs on the computer, and a fast way to find them is to open up the project settings with a little cogwheel in the lower right, go to color management, and then down to the lookup table box to click on open LUT folder. This is folder one of three that you really need to know about. It's in your system, library, application support folder for Blackmagic Design on a Mac, and you can turn on the helpful breadcrumb trail in the finder up under view, show path bar. These are actually clickable links that can help you navigate folders a little bit faster. Anyways, to back up the LUT files, we're going to go old school with edit copy on the LUT folder, and then navigate to your backup folder and edit paste item. Here's the trick to quickly find where your Fusion templates live. Open the Fusion page, and then click on the Effects tab, and then click on the Templates folder. Now you can click on the three dot menu to choose Show Folder. Because we already turned on our path bar in that last step, you can see where this location is at. We're actually inside the specific user library folder and not the system-wide folder. The .drx files and .setting files are what's important here, so to back these up old school, let's navigate back a little bit differently. Command click the template header name and choose the Fusion folder. Quick side note here is if you store your disk databases in the default location, this is where they're kept. And I'm going to show you the best way to back those up in just a few seconds. Now click the Templates folder to select it, go to Edit, Copy, and then back to the Backup folder, Edit, Paste. Fairlight presets live in the third folder that you need to know, and I don't know of a way of taking you directly to this folder from within Resolve, so this gives me another chance to show you one more finer pro tip about the User Library folder on a Mac. Even if you've never saved a Fairlight preset before, which, by the way, they're super handy if you film with a similar audio setup, this library trick is really a good one. With Finder open, click the drop down to the Go menu, and then choose Home. This is the User Home folder. We need to get into that User Library folder, and by default, the Mac OS has always hidden this folder. You're not going to see it in this list. Now, there's a trick to see it by holding down the Option key when you click to the Go drop down menu, and you're going to get access, but that's only a temporary view. Instead, what I like to do from that Home folder is click View, Show View Options, and then you can check the box for Show Library Folder. Now this folder is always going to be visible on your Macintosh. It's pretty useful, right? Now let's head into the Preference folder to grab those Fairlight presets. Just click on Library, then Preferences, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, and you're there. This is the third out of three settings folders that you really need to know besides the actual app folder inside of Applications. Simply go into Fairlight and select the Presets folder, manually copy, and then go back to your backup folder and, you guessed it, edit, paste. Those last four steps were important because they contain certain files that are not part of the disk database that stores all of your projects. Thankfully, there's a very simple backup button from the project manager to create a portable database backup that's going to be simple to restore after installing the latest version of DaVinci Resolve. Open the project manager with the home button in the lower right, click on the Show Database button in the upper left if they're hidden, and back up the currently selected database by just clicking this up arrow backup button. Choose your backup folder, click save, and backup. Yes, this could take a few minutes if you have tons of projects. It'll create a .diskdb file that's extremely valuable since it has all your projects in it, and it's easy to back up to a cloud service. I do this on the first of every month using iCloud. Now rinse and repeat for each database if you have several like me, and you're done with backups. Before you run the uninstaller, if you're running Resolve Studio, the paid version, this is a good moment to A, make sure you have and know your license key if you're not using a dongle, and then B, 
Deactivate the current license under the Help drop-down menu and choose Deactivate License. It's going to warn you about knowing that serial number, so now you've been double warned. Click Deactivate and quit Resolve. Now head to your application folder for DaVinci Resolve and run the straightforward uninstall Resolve application that comes with every install of Resolve. So now that the app went bye bye it's time to clean out these three supporting settings folders to the trash. User Library, Preferences, Blackmagic Design, right click to move to trash. Then User Library, Application Support, Blackmagic Design, right click to move to trash. And finally, the System Macintosh HD Library, Application Support, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, right click and move to trash. And then finish the uninstallation by rebooting. Download the latest version of DaVinci Resolve from blackmagicdesign.com slash support. Click the DaVinci Resolve box and then you can choose the paid studio version or the free version with links to each operating system from there. After downloading the app, just double click the zip file to open it up and then load the disk image with the installer. Double click that install icon and let it run. Add your activation serial key if you're using the paid version and you have a fresh install. To restore your old database, make sure you show databases and then click the downward restore database button. Click on your .diskdb file to open it and here's your opportunity to rename it and save it into a more accessible folder location. This process basically takes the backup bundled file and unwraps it like new into your designated location. I store mine inside of documents and inside of a folder I created called Blackmagic Design. Inside of here, I created a folder for each of my databases to stay organized. So choose a name without spaces to point it to a location with browse, create it, and restore. And now because we're moving up to version 18, we actually also need to upgrade the project library. So just click the upgrade project library button, upgrade, and you're done. Now import your keyboard shortcuts into the keyboard customization window and then close DaVinci Resolve to copy and paste those other three folders back into place for your LUTs, your Fusion templates, and Fairlight presets, and you're back in business. Because you did a proper database restore, you should still have all your project presets, your power bins, and power grades available. You might just need to tweak some preferences and export presets to your liking. I am so excited about this newest version of DaVinci Resolve, but I really need your help to know, what are you most interested in learning about with all these great tools that we have at our fingertips? <laughs> Leave me a comment. I actually read all of them and I try to respond as often as I can. Oh, and hey, while you're down there, subscribe if you're into creating videos that make a difference and stand out. I'm Chadwick and I'm stoked that you've spent your precious time watching, but because there is so much more to learn, I'll see you in that next video. It should be on screen somewhere right now.